An aside, Lahir Louise, we've got an issue with the other side of this fence. This fence isn't 2.4, it's 2.3. And on the other side, I don't know if I can sneak this through there, but we've got um, some climbable issues. Like, so we've got a, a, a clothesline there, we've got a fence with, with steps up it. Uh, either those steps up on the other side could be shielded and this clothes hoist removed or you could add another 100 mil to the top of this and that would negate the need to do anything on the other side uh, this side is all good <clears throat> that's okay there no problems uh, the whole rear of the fence is fine, 2.4, so we don't need to worry about that. There's also been some work done there, I think, to, to shield a little gap that was there. So that's all fine. The front is okay here. Huh? So, front fence is fine here. That's all, all those gaps are less than, than 10 mil. This is fine, it's 2.4 meters high, plus it's all, um, anyway, no kids getting up that. The front is a problem. So what we have here, the whole front, these are, these gaps here are 20 mil, not, not even close to being compliant. So from that point of view, um, this fence would either need to be 2.4 metres high or possibly have some inlay into these gaps to reduce these gaps to less than 10 mil. And if you did that, this fence would be compliant and that might be a kind of an elegant way to do it. You only need to do it down 1.2 metres, but there can't be any gaps in here that are, that are greater than 10 mil, either between them or in depth. So, um, there's a bit to do there. What you could do with these hinges is perhaps reduce the number, but you've got to remember that the, the reason you've got four on here is because they need the strength to close the door. It's quite a heavy door. But what you could do is take one away, put it at 900 from the bottom one. I think you're still going to have trouble. I, I would say lower the bottom one, one in the middle, one at the top. It would, it would pass that way. Uh, but again, it needs to have the strength to operate the door and to close it uh, under all circumstances. I'm just at the first gate here, um, Louise. All good, this, this closes. That's um, I, What I would say is I would stay on top of this. Even with the idea as it is, it's closing properly, but I could say it would be in it from a week from now, that might not be the case. So you really need to make sure you keep this um, pruned back. Um, if we're talking about re-inspection, it may well not even pass then. So on the gate also, we've got these which are climbable and they've got to be 900 mil apart or, or have some sort of a shielding. Uh, what you could do with these hinges is perhaps reduce the number, but you've got to remember that the, the reason you've got four on here is because they need the strength to close the door. It's quite a heavy door. But what you could do is take one away, put it at 900 from the bottom one, I think you're still gonna have trouble. I, I would say lower the bottom one, one in the middle, one at the top, it would it would pass.